Pretty You're sure. shuttling? Can I, can I go see the boat too? Yes, you may. Or the ship? Is it called the ship? I, you can call it whatever you like, darling. Okay. Okay. And I'll be right back at it. Yes, ma'am. Hey, you a pirate or what are you? Oh, what are you, uh, hey, darling? <laughs> I have, I'm a ticket holder. You're a ticket holder. You're our first ticket holder oh, to a Really? <laughs> I'm Doug. I'm Sandy. Okay. It's nice to meet you. Sandy, go down there. You'll see a gate. Somebody will okay. guide you in. All right, perfect. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. How you doing? Hi. You're a ticket holder. I'm Doug. Oh, that's, that's a nice cold handshake. I like that. You don't need to show that to me. You just follow her. Okay, she's going to slip around. My guys will get you there. You go into the boat or come out this way. Thank you. Are we looking for more than four shuttles? Uh, you can help with parking. Sure. You want to do parking? Find a place to drop your bag. See the captain? Yeah. That's Brandon. Okay. Brandon's one of my buds. He wants help directing traffic? Yeah, we may rotate him in and out. He may want to drink a water or something like that. Okay. Okay. Thank, Thank you, Mary. Well, yeah. what's on the agenda for the party? Oh, I don't even really know. I didn't fun. make up the agenda. That's the agenda. I'm going to have some fun. That's it, yeah. Is y'all from here? Arizona. Arizona? Yeah, can I shake your hand? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thanks for coming all the way from did, Arizona. Yeah. That's great. Okay. I used to live out in Arizona. Oh, thank you. I'm excited. glad you're here. I'm so excited yeah. to experience this. This, is, this has been my life changing thing, you know, so I'm glad to have you here. We're in Arizona. Phoenix? Uh, yeah. Phoenix area, Chandler. Oh yeah, I used to live in Mesa. Oh, sure. Yeah, right. yeah. Yes. Worked, in, uh, worked in Scottsdale. Okay, yep. Yeah, right and, then I, and then I left and I came back and I lived in Gilbert. Oh, worked oh, in Scottsdale yeah. again. <laughs> oh, I like that. Well done, that you, Clint? Got it, thank you guys. Ooh, ooh, I like that. That's beautiful. Doug, How are you? Z. Z, nice to meet you. Commodore Z. Drew, nice to meet you. Drew, nice to meet you. He wants you to do that? Uh, oh, you're, yeah. Oh, yes. yeah, she said there's some yes. pretty girls here around the merch. <laughs> it's, down, it's down below. A right. shuttle will take you down there from the gate over the oh, front. Oh, awesome. Okay? Awesome. Okay. Yeah, we're going to come up and see the ship first. All right, that's where I'm going. Not 22 feet long. Research projects come in through the open hand. I think the power state thing just represents the, the freedom that I'm after. Yep. Uh, break Absolutely. some rules and, and make a bit up as you go along and Absolutely. do what works for you, not what works for somebody else all yeah. the time. So, Gorgeous. So welcome aboard. I'm glad you helped us out tonight. Absolutely. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. <laughs> Step on through. Those, those guys will show you the engine room. Talk about this, guys. We don't really need to bring swords in them. I'm not ever planning on needing a shark sword. Why not? They're good enough now, I can beat you to death with it. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's go to the water one way or another. I like the railroad idea. Just stick it on the railroad and then just let gravity do the work. Splash down. You do that. Just put a nose reel on it. Let it go. Yep. It's so inspiring. All the boards. It's the crane, right? And what's that thing that turns? You know, I always thought, man, it'd be nice to go visit and you know, just see it in person. So the opportunity came, John put it all together, and we jumped in the car, and here we are. No doubt about it, as Borson as number one. I agree wholeheartedly. Yeah. It's fabulous. Totally in the dark. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm totally in the dark. Well, there's supposed to be a party, right? The dark. I got it. <laughs> you think it looks big right there? Yeah. Wait till it's in the water. Yeah. It'll look yeah. tiny. Yeah. But I couldn't believe like standing underneath the bow. I was like, man, this thing's well, huge. I got the same impression when I moved down here over five years ago with yeah. I walked underneath the bow and I looked up and I goes, holy smokes. The deck had just got put on when I moved down here. So I came in basically right in the middle of the build. He's been on it for 10 years and I've only been here five years, so. Hey! <laughs> ah, it's Uber, fuck him. So, Sorry. Say that again. Ah, so obviously the boat's not in the water yet, thanks to uh, the insurance people not quite being ready. Um, although I'm not gonna blame them because it's not really their fault we're not in the water either, so. Anywho, uh, we decided last minute that uh, we were gonna open the boat up to uh, to basically have tours from five to six 
and uh, it's uh, it was a challenge most of the day running around getting all the supplies that we needed. We had to build, you know, basically strengthen and rebuild our gangway to accommodate all of this. We put a lot of um, safety precautions in in play, and then. You know, when we got all that stuff done, we had to run and get everything we needed for the party. And then after that, uh, we all kind of scattered for an hour or two to get cleaned up to come here. Shoot. Well, who are the people that are coming on the boat? Uh, everybody. Um, I mean, they all come from all walks of life. I've seen guys on Harleys, guys on BMWs. I've seen wealthy people. I've seen people who've been driving cars. And it's like, how are you going to get here on that? You know, but they make it. Uh, the furthest away I've heard uh, had a couple drive from Florida. That's got to be a long haul. So it's uh, it's amazing. Uh, they all different walks of life. Some are engineers, some are hobbyists, some just like boats. You know, it's uh, they all got their own unique story. You know, and it's it's definitely interesting. Uh, got to see a, a lot of different vehicles today. Not that I care much about cars, but. <laughs> so. Yeah, how did the tugboat captain get roped into this shit? In high school. I was a police cadet. I could see that. You seem like a wolf I that's my problem. Every time, every time I say anything to Doug about the Coast Guard or any kind of a rule, I get one of these. And it's just like, Doug, if you don't want my advice, I don't have to give it. <laughs> and he's like, no, I want it, I want it, I just don't want to listen to it. It's like, okay, oxymoron. That's all right. He takes it well. So. Yeah. Well, how is Doug doing? Is he kind of stressed out over the insurance and everything? Or so happening? I'll be honest with you. I. I don't know how he's not more stressed. Like I don't. I. <laughs> he's handling it way better than than I would have. I mean, I would have done already thrown myself on the ground and started kicking and screaming and cussing, and. Uh, yeah, it would have. Uh, would not have been pretty if it if this would have been my project but turned to shit. So, you know, and it didn't turn to shit. I mean, Doug has handled it really well. We've done a really good job with things. Um, you know, hang on a second. Hey, Clint, that black car, they can't park there. Good, watch your head there. Yeah, I will. Get out of my way is what it says, please. I drove up last night, all night long, got here, and uh, the inspiration really comes down to just the building of things. I'm a, I've always been a big builder, I uh, self-starter myself. I think that doing this kind of stuff is absolutely incredible, and why, why not support it? I've been watching, watching Doug do this for the last probably six or seven years. And uh, I'm, I'm probably the top village rat that everybody knows, you know? I uh, don't contribute one bit, but I, I, like, I like being a part of everything. It's my inspiration, for, you know, and from Doug and, and the SV Seeker program and the project has been his, his personality, his, his dogged determination to get it done. And just watching how he's doing just little things to make this huge, beautiful sailboat. I think the size and the scale of it has been really the most impressive. You know, I've done small boats, I sail and I fly. Uh, you know, I've, I've restored, you know, an older airplane. And I think that really when it comes down to it, it's the size of it is just so doggone impressive. It really is. It's inspiring. It's absolutely inspiring. My hopes are that the people he takes on board share his vision of being open about communicating the value of what they're doing. I know that a lot of uh, people hold their cards close to their chest and don't want to talk about preliminary results. They're afraid of building expectations or disappointing, but uh, Doug has set an example of, of trying stuff and seeing if it can get done and uh, progressing. And I hope that the people he takes on board share that philosophy. If you think ahead about all the, well, what if this goes, what if this happens? How am I going to do this part? You wouldn't ever, you would not do it. And I think that even if this boat behind us never gets to the ocean, 
something bad happens and it, it ends up in the bottom of the Mississippi, it's still a big success in, in that uh, it got built, it, lessons got learned, it inspired people, and uh, I don't think there's a, at this point, I don't think there's a downside to the project. I think he would agree that it's been worth, no matter what the outcome, it's been worth the effort and the money and the time that he's put into it. <laughs> If you served and worked on the boat, I would like you to stand up. Yes, there are people here that I didn't even know were here. Much better boat than it would have ever been if it wasn't for people like Hollis. That fuel system, there is no way I could have done that. Every one of these people brings something. It's by that regard that this boat exists. These are the guys that make that happen. Chris Billing, Rory, Clint, Richard, Patrick, Brian, Brandon, Eric, Neil, and 150. Where's Paige? There's Paige. Paige back there. Yeah. If you would join me in three cheers for them and all the crew that are out there, they're going to watch this. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Thank you. Enjoy your evening. So I'm going to rent a goddamn bulldozer if I have to and drag that boat down the hill. I can get an insurance policy on the bulldozer and just drag the boat down, kiss the bulldozer goodbye. It'll probably stop somewhere out in the middle. This would be good. I did nothing for the party. It's meeting expectations. It's, it's exceeding expectations. You know, it's kind of that way. When you let your crew do their job and they're enjoying what they're doing, they're going to do a fantastic job. And Betsy has done that. Vivian, Rich. Oh, everybody that put this thing together has done a fantastic job. It's just another lesson in you know, give them something fun to do, find what they like doing, let them go and get the hell out of the way. It is amazing. I mean, there's people here from Connecticut, California, uh, the Northwest, Northeast, you know, Lubbock, Texas, because you got such a big boating community in Lubbock, Texas. It's, it's something that we've touched into that draws people from far away. You know, they want to be um, inspired and closer to something that's real and physical. And I just love that they can get that kind of motivation and power, I guess, from this, this type of event. I've gotten it from them over the years, you know, through comments and positive letters that I get. So it's, uh, it's cool for us to get and meet in person. Uh, the thing that's been the best for me is the, the, the people that you meet here, they're adventurers. They're people who are doing things like this themselves or they've, They've done something like this in their lives, and uh, they all remind me of my dad, you know? Get out there and do it, and uh, I feel really good. I think about him a lot when I, when I meet these people. He would have loved being here. Yes, they cool. I asked about the food, they said it's 
Movie band. These were cut from the ship itself. They're dirty. I love that they're dirty. We don't want to mess up Doc's patina. <laughs> but there is no Yeah, it went a long way. All right. Oh, that's good. You did fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Oh, so where are you going to actually permanently export it? Because not. that's quite a distance coming from here. That's part of the fun. We're not. Okay, good. Wow. We're just from Tulsa, Oklahoma. We're proud of it. We've lived here for 17 years now. Mm -hmm. We've gotten thousands of favors from these people. So I thought Tulsa Porter Katusa sounded like a fantastic name to put on it. Freaked me out first time I heard we have a port. Yeah, I lived here for two years. I didn't know we had a port. Well, when I, you know, I've been 